before starting this video i want to thanks to everyone who is subscribing to my channel i don't know guys how you are tolerating my bad english also my poor accent so thanks a lot for subscribing my channel so in this program we are going to build a really killer script because it's going to actually kill some things so without wasting any time let's jump and see uh, how we are going to do this if you guys know there is a command in linux it's a built-in command and it stands for process snapshot so this ps command is used to look into the processes which are running in your machine and you can get how much memory that processes are using how much cpu that processes are using and other kind of properties related to that particular process so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type ps and minus e if i press enter so it's going to show me every process which are currently running in my machine but i'm not interested in every process i want only the process which are running by my user okay so if i pass minus u flag and give it my username now i will get only the processes which are currently running by my user and if on the top you can see that it's going to give me the pid the tty the time and the command okay so by default ps show me these four properties but i don't want these three i just want pid so what i can do is i can use this minus o flag and what it's going to do i can just modify the output format so if i type pid and press enter it's only going to give me pid and i can also add other properties like percentage mem is going to give me memory percentage cpu is going to give me cpu and comm means command is going to give me the command which actually responsible for that particular process so if i press enter now it's going to show me exactly these four properties which is really good this is exactly what i wanted and as you can see my obs is using 60 percent of my cpus which is a lot okay so for me these four properties are the only thing which i want and what now i can do is i can pipe this into sort program uh, what i want is actually i want to sort this by memory so whichever program is taking the most memory it's going to be first it's going to be in descending order okay so i can use minus b flag to just skip the blank lines also then k flag which is a key flag so i can press 2 here so pid is 1 and memory is 2 okay so it's going to sort with the value of memory and if i press enter it's going to sort as in ascending order so firefox is taking the most memory and it's on the bottom i can use this minus r flag and it's going to reverse it so now firefox is on top and this is exactly what i wanted but there is one thing i don't like is i don't want this uh, headers here so what i can use is i can use this set command and i can do this minus n and then i just want to remove the first line so first line not print and what this is going to do if i press enter it's just going to remove the first line exactly what i want so i just love this about unix program i just get exactly what i want so if i pipe this into another program which is d menu which i use a lot to do my systems thing if you guys use rofi you can use rofi if you guys um, don't use any of this you can just use fuzzy finder here but for me i'm going to use d menu and i'm going to ignore the case so it's going to be case insensitive search and i can use this list view and i'm going to print 15 lines so list will not look too long okay so if i press enter it's going to show me the processes which my computer is running right now and i can just search any process like sxiv and if i press enter it's going to just print the information about that particular process cool so what i can do is i can pipe it into awk and i i'm going to use print to print the first value okay so this is the pid 
so if i press enter now and again search a 6 ib and press enter it's just going to give me the pid which is the key because now i can use this um to create a variable pid and if i press enter and then do this sxiv and press enter so it doesn't print anything but it stored that sxiv pid in this pid variable so i can show you by echoing it and now i can just use kill command uh, to safely kill this particular pid so right now you can see here uh, this sxiv is open but if i press enter it's just going to get killed okay so that's really cool that's why this is a killer thing so i just put this little thing into this little script which is basically doing what i just told you it's grabbing the pid and then killing it and in last time just sending a notification so let me show you how this script works if i press windows key x in my computer it's just going to show me a d menu and i can just kill any program easily and it's going to give me this notification so my firefox is being killed so i just killed my firefox and this is a really useful thing if you are like using your computer and suddenly your some program got freeze so you can just use this to kill it Damn, yeah. I've been feeling so I've been feeling so